Impossible. Just gonna die in the end. <laughs> F off, train. Okay, guys, I just got back home. I uh, went down to the casino this morning, played a little blackjack, and and I just got home, and as you can see, the white shit is falling from the sky, so I'm out here shoveling it. But while I was at the casino, I just have weird stuff always happens to me. And, and I would look for, you know, to try and figure out why this weird shit always goes on when I'm around. But just by saying that, there's one common denominator in it. So I think I know why the, the weird shit's happening. But anyway, so I go down to the casino. I play some blackjack and, and I won. So I was all happy. I, I'm getting ready to leave and, and, and I won. So I, I went over to the bakery and bought these delicious, one of these delicious cherry danishes that they have there. And that's kind of a lie because I was still going to buy a cherry danish even if I lost because <laughs> I'm a fat guy. So I buy my cherry danish, I'm all happy, I, I, I won a little bit, I'm leaving and as I'm walking out the door there are these two guys right behind me, black guy and a white guy, they were young, probably mid-twenties or so, and I held the door for them, you know, because I was in front and they both said thank you, so we had already, you know, we had already <laughs> pretty much struck up a friendship, we were best buds by now. And so we're walking through the parking lot and as we're heading to our cars and it's cold and crappy as you can see and this car pulls up in the drive, in the, in the parking lot Pulls next to these guys, there's a driver and a passenger, two dudes, and the dude in the passenger side rolled up, rolls down his window. Fuck you, Train. <laughs> it's, we're even closer to it now. But the dude in the passenger side rolls down his window and says, hey, hey, you guys want to buy a home entertainment system? And, <laughs> and the guys are like, nah, thanks, it's cool. And the, and the dude in the car's like, he's insisting, he's like, no, great deal, really good deal. He said, is quality stuff gonna give you a good deal? And so by now I've caught up fuck you again train i've caught up to where the car is and i said yeah you guys because we know you only get the best quality deals on quality merchandise and electronics in the parking lot of a casino and so the two guys that were my new friends they laughed and the guy in the car didn't like it he got a little pissed he said hey dude he says you don't have to be that way you're he, he's like, you know, this is actually quality stuff. And he goes into this whole little diatribe about why it's actually a good deal and they only sell the quality stuff. And for some reason, because I meet my Danish here, for some reason, about halfway through, I snapped. And I don't even know what happened. I just looked at him and went, shut the fuck up! I'm eating a Danish! Just like that. And I, <laughs> I said it so sharply and quickly, it actually startled the guy in the car. And he's like, <laughs> he backed up and, and he looks at his buddy and he rolls up the window and they muttered something to me. I, people mutter shit to me all the time and they took off. But now I look over at the two guys that were my new buds and they were hysterical. It was one of those things that I don't think in the retelling it's all that funny, but for some reason in the moment it was killing them. And the poor black dude is like, he can't walk. He's laughing so hard. And I'm like, huh, sorry, guys. And he's, <laughs> and, he, and they're trying to get in the car. And he's got his hand on the car and he goes, dude, he says, he says, shut the fuck up. I'm eating a Danish. It's the funniest goddamn thing I'm going to hear all year. So, <laughs> and I have no idea what made me say it, what made me say it in the way I did. But at least I brought a little joy to someone's life. You know, those guys in the car could have been also gang members and shot me in the face, but but really that would have made for an even better story. Well, for, you know, my two new friends to tell, I wouldn't have been able to tell it so much.